my loves, this is take number four. Good God. Okay, you guys, so I got a new laptop, and I'm trying out something different with the, the webcam and everything to get a clear picture because the camera on here is just, like, shitty. And my daughter was telling me about GoPro. So if you guys, if you use GoPro, the camera, let me know how you like it. Because I'm trying to figure out if it's worth a $300 investment. If it's going to give me a clear picture, I feel like I need something that's coming through clear. And that's why I got a different laptop because I didn't like that other one. The color was coming in and out and it kept freezing and it was just irritating me. So I decided to upgrade. But now I'm trying to figure out if I should upgrade to a different camera. Let me know if you like this picture, if the clarity is good for you. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Um, just let me know how it works, how it looks for you. Now, I have been a little bit behind because I haven't been out with the spirit messages in I think a couple of weeks, but we're getting that, getting back on that. Also, there's a few TNT rows that I need to upload, and I'm going to make sure that I bring those out for you too. And then hopefully this week, I'm going to go ahead and start the monthly. So, you guys, I'm going to come through. Be patient with me. Um, I had a lot of things I needed to do that had to be done. And now I'm finally kind of pushing them out the way so I can focus in on this a little bit more. Um, what else? Friday on Divinity Diva Tarot on Facebook. I do free readings. Normally starts at 6 p.m. Central. So, if you're looking for that, please come over to Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, try not to fret. I'm going to try to get restreamed where I can start doing coming live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So I'm trying to upgrade a little bit, you guys. All right, coming into the, to the technology age for me. I'm an old chick, so, you know, this is taking a little time. So let me see, is there anything else? You know how we do this, pray to your God, your goddess, your deity, whoever you work with that gives you your guidance. Ask for messages that you need to hear. Not every message is going to relate to you because it could be to a, a specific person. Um, if it doesn't relate, don't worry about it. There's hundreds of readers on YouTube. Go check out their other pages. Um, but also, you know, come back in next week. If it's not for you this week, you could come back in in a different reading. So just be patient. General reads. Not everything's going to apply to you, okay? So let's get into it. Card number six. Card number six. I'm not starting this over. Card number one. This, it shows you how many times I've done this. Card number one. Card number one, if you are looking for opportunities, it looks like there's a job that's coming in for you. Now, for a few of you, I feel like if you've gone on a second interview or a third interview, you're going to get something positive out of this. Because um, I feel like somebody who's gone through some type of cycle with this, and it's like, okay, am I going to get the information? Or are they going to call me? I do feel like there's a call, a letter, or email that's going to be coming to you that's going to confirm that you have the job. So congratulations, card number one. I also feel for some of you, if you do get a nine to five or you're looking at something where you got this job coming in or this opportunity coming in, I do feel that there's another thing that could be coming in with you. And this could be a side hustle. This could be something that has to do with turning a hobby or something that you do that you love into a money maker. So for a few of you, I feel like you're going to be working two different things. You could be working a nine to five where you got a regular paycheck coming in. And then some of you could be starting a different job or an um, entrepreneurship, some type of business that you're going to be working. I keep getting with this card that there's something with multiple streams of income that are coming in for you guys. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. If you have multiple opportunities that are coming in, check them out. Because I feel for some of you, it's like I'm going to be making money here, then I can make money there, and then I can pull money this way. I don't feel like it's multiple jobs where you're trying to build up an income because one job can't pay it. I feel for some of you, you may just have some growth that's coming in and you have other opportunities. Um, so this could be a prosperity phase for you guys where opportunity is coming in, money is coming in. So if you have a resume, dust it off. If you're looking for a job, if you're taking in applications, make sure that everything is filled out correctly and it looks like there's some positive news that's coming in with a job or money for you guys. Card number two. Card number two, so we have the player player from the Himalaya. We might, we have somebody who may be a little bit uncommitted. Let me see. We have love triangle or third party action going on, which would be an entanglement. Thank you, Will and Jada. And then we have manipulation. 
So card number two, some of you could be dealing with somebody, and I do get somebody who's dating. Um, be careful that this person is not married or already in an attachment and they're not telling you this. Now, it's a general read. This could be you too. Put everything on the table. If you're dating somebody, you know you're dating multiple people, you need, you need to let that person know. You know, I'm also, you know, I'm seeing you, but I'm seeing other people because I'm trying to figure out, you know, who's the better fit for me or what direction I'm going into, and that's why we date. Um, for a lot of people, just because you're going out to have coffee with somebody doesn't make that a relationship. Until you have that talk and you and that person are on the same page, it's a relationship, it's dating. So I feel for some of you, you could be connecting with someone. And this person, you could meet them online, you could meet them on a dating site, you could meet them through friends, but you could be dealing with somebody that's kind of putting themselves out there um, because they're trying to figure out what the match is for them. They may not be somebody who's looking for a commitment right now. Doesn't mean that in the future they may not want one, but they may not be looking for a commitment right now because they possibly could be in a commitment. So if you're dealing with somebody, male or female, that you can only talk to them certain times of the day, you know, you can't spend holidays with them, you know, they're busy on the weekend because they're with their kids or visiting their kids. They could be married or they could be in a live-in um, arrangement with someone. So I will say that if you're dealing with somebody and you're a little bit on the fence and you can't ever see them, the conversations are a little bit short, you may need to look a little bit deeper into this because you could have somebody who is trying to manipulate you into a relationship or into a uh, situationship where maybe you know they just want sex. So take your time with this, you guys. If you're connecting with somebody and it feels good and the communication is good, I wouldn't really get off too bad on this uncommitted or player energy because sometimes, you know, we all players until we find the one. I feel like for a few of you, if you're dealing with somebody, though, who is manipulating you and you feel like they're not being honest with you, it could be because they got something already going on, card number two. So trust your instincts with it. If it doesn't feel right, ask the questions. If they answer truthfully, you already know. If they don't answer and you find something else out, and I feel like this is going to come to the light. I see manipulation, but I feel like with that third-party situation, something's going to come to the light. And if it does, I feel like you guys definitely are walking away, which takes us to card number three, walking away from drama. For some of you, this could be the situation where you're getting involved with somebody. For a few of y'all, y'all could even connect with this person at work. So it could be somebody that you work with that you find out that either they're married or they're attached and you're deciding to walk away. Okay, card number three. Card number three, we have a message coming in. And then we have the watch your mouth. And with this card, we have bees flying out this person's mouth, which means that they're saying things, but they could be verbally abusive or they could be saying things to really kind of cause some type of problem with you. Vice versa, the general read, this could be doing, be doing this to somebody else. I get a lot of gossip. And I get conflict that's coming out of gossip. And for some of you, that may be why you end up walking away from the situation because you don't want to be involved with it. This could be some type of argument um, where two people are verbally abusive or one person is verbally abusive because they're given a message. And this is somebody who's not coming at you in a very nice, respectful way. So for a few of you, you may hear something that hurts your feelings. You may get involved in an argument that hurts your feelings. And it looks at the end of the day, let me get the cards right. You could be walking away from the drama. This is a woman who's kind of like brushing her shoulders off. You know, like, I don't want to do it. You know, walk away from me. I don't want to hear it. So I feel for a few of you that if you are dealing with a verbal um, abusive situation where somebody's coming at you really wrong, or they're saying some things that are really painful, and you're like, I really don't need to deal with this. This is not something that I want to deal with. This is painful to me. I'm going to walk away. Spirit is like saying, choose your battles wisely. If you feel like that you really don't have to argue with this person, don't argue with this person. This energy to me could be narcissistic where somebody is blaming something on the other person and saying, it's all your fault. You know, I'm perfect. I never do anything. And I feel that whoever they're telling this to is getting tired of it. And they're like, I'm out. I'm walking away. I'm leaving. So if you're having communication problems with someone and you're the one that's kind of, you know, saying some things that are going to hurt, be prepared that this person may say, you know what, fuck it, I'm out, I'm leaving. If this is you, you may be telling this person, fuck it, I'm out, I'm leaving. All right, card number four. Card number four, we have the Psychic Seer. 
we have spirit communication and then we have the strength card okay with this combination it looks like for a few of you you have some gifts that are going to be opening up now for some you may be a natural medium where spirit is kind of connecting you could see spirit you can hear spirit um, this year this has been a really uh, major year for growth for a lot of people. People are starting to see that their third eye and their crown chakra are really open. They're hearing conversations, you know, they're seeing visions. They're seeing people walk through their kitchen. So for some of you, you may have already had this. This could be a blood tie thing where maybe this was passed down, but maybe it's starting to open up a little bit more. With the psychic seer, this is like abilities that are coming in. This person is looking at the light. They're looking at things that are starting to materialize. They're connecting with spirit. So whether you're doing this on purpose and say you're meditating, you're taking classes, it is showing that this is going to open up for you. Now, the strength card may show that some of you may have a hard time dealing with this. Maybe you don't want it. Maybe you don't want to understand it. Maybe you 100% don't want to have this connection with spirit I feel like if you are kind of going in a little bit afraid that you're gonna walk away from this um, because you're not ready so you may be saying you know what spirit please shut it down I'm not ready for it for a few of you though I feel like that you may have something that's gonna be opening up with your mediumship but you're worried that maybe it goes against maybe your beliefs maybe you know you were raised Catholic and you don't believe in this you know Southern Baptist and I don't believe I don't believe in ghosts I don't believe in spirit I feel for a few of you that you're going to realize whether you believe in it or not, you may have some experiences that are coming in and you're like, okay, my logic is telling me that something just can't be, but it is. Be prepared that there may be some things that are going to be shown to you that you have to kind of acclimate to. Like, okay, give me a second to, to kind of even be comfortable with this. The strength card, though, is showing that you're going to be okay. I mean, even if you see some things that make you a little bit uncomfortable, I feel like some of you are going to be branching out of possibly getting readings. You may be going to a spiritual advisor. You may even be talking to your pastor. But I feel like there's something where it's like, okay, help me to understand this a little bit better. Help me to figure out what's going on. And the strength card is showing for a few of you that you're going to be okay. You're going to stand in your power with this. Psychic Seer is definitely showing that this is somebody who's gifted. With the spirit communication, you may be having, uh, let me get it, in a, in a thing, you may have uh, visitation from ancestors. You may have loved ones who crossed over and they come back in. I feel for a few of you that you're going to be getting a lot of communication through your dreams. I don't think everybody's going to see people walking through their house, so don't freak out. If you do see it, don't freak out. But I feel for some that you're going to definitely have people who crossed over, especially with this year. COVID-19 has taken a lot of people really fast, so we had a lot of dead that are still kind of wandering. They're, they're, they're like, I don't know exactly where I'm supposed to go, or they're, they didn't get a chance to say goodbye to people that they love, so they're still they're trying to figure out where they need to be. So for some of you, you may be connecting with that energy, and it could be because your mediumship is opening up, okay? If you need more guidance, hit me up for a spiritual reading, spiritual gift reading, or either you can deal with any other reader. If you need some type of guidance, spiritual advisor, um, you know, a psychic reader, a medium, even a pastor who's very open-minded about this. I mean, even in the Bible, we know that people have resurrected, they come back, their spirit, energy that still lingers. So you guys, be open to it, but don't be afraid of it, okay? With card number five, card number five, it looks like you have a situation that's coming in where you really need to put your foot down and assert yourself. I feel an energy of somebody who's letting somebody walk over them way too much. Now, let me try to clarify this energy with card number five. Card number five, spirit, what is it that they need to really put their foot down on? Card number five, what is the message? Let's look. Some of you could be having mother issues. Um, see okay yeah some of you could be having mother issues or parent parental issues where it's like even as an adult you feel like you're still not in a place where you can say this is what I want you could be trying to live for other people and it's making you feel very uncomfortable okay which I'm looking at where I don't think it was an orb it could have been a mosquito kind of just 
distracted me, you guys, so I'm back. I'm back. I'm focused. I feel like for a few of you, there's a decision that you made. You've been lingering on it, but you don't want to talk to the person. Are you afraid that if you have this conversation with somebody, they're not going to take it the way you want? So there's a fear of maybe having a conversation that needs to be had. And I feel like some of you could be conceding to somebody because you don't want the argument. You don't want the conflict. Spirit is saying that you're going to have to assert yourself. You're going to have to put your foot down. If there's something that is going on and you're not happy with it, you don't like, you need to speak up on it. I also feel for a few of you that you may have some situations where there's some boundaries that are being crossed with friends or family. Um, this could be where it's like, you know what, I don't like what you're doing, but I don't want to speak on it. And it goes back to that conflict. I don't want the conflict. I feel that somebody is like, I just don't want to argue with someone or have an issue that comes out with this. You could be dealing with a situation where there's a conversation that needs to be had or either there was a conversation that was had and somebody shut you down and you let it, but you don't feel comfortable with it. So I feel like you could be talking to this person again. If not, I feel like some of you are coming into an energy where it's like, you know what, I have to go ahead and put my foot down because there's some things that make me feel uncomfortable. And I feel like that you're trying to draw the line in the sand. Don't be afraid to do it. You have every right to feel comfortable with, with the decisions that you make. You have every right to have people respect you. So if somebody is talking to you in a way, because remember, we did have that verbal abuse card over here. And we do have walking away from drama. And some of you may walk away without asserting yourself, but I feel like some of you are like, I got to put my foot down. I feel like there's something that needs to come to an end. And you know that the only way that it's going to come to an end is if you literally say, you know what? No, it stops. We're not doing it again. You're not going to push me past this point. And if you have to do it, and it feels like you have to, I feel like you're going to walk away from the situation with your head held high. Um, I keep hearing doormat, doormat, doormat. Some of you could be feeling this way where you're letting somebody walk on you, and you are tired of it. You've kind of reached that point where it's like, okay, I need to say something. I will say card number five, if you feel like you have to address it, um, don't do it from a standpoint of anger. Um, stay facts. I don't like the way you talk to me. You know, I don't like the way you handled that situation. The other night you did something that made me feel very uncomfortable and I it, I feel like it, it challenges our relationship and I don't know if I can do this anymore with you. And if the person doesn't want to hear it and they start to argue, then I think you have no choice but to say, you know what, I gave my piece, said my piece or whatever, and I'm going to walk away. And it looks like for a few of you, you are. Card number six. Card number six, we have travel and we have road openers. Some of you could be on a road trip coming up. There may be some travel where you're in your vehicle. Some of you, this is literally going to an island, getting on a plane, but it is showing that if you had obstacles that you felt like were holding you back from taking a trip, you may get some positive news that something is gonna open up for you where you can go ahead and go. If you're trying to go to the islands and you're worried about the quarantine, and I know we've been you know, just grounded this year with travel, but there are a lot of places that are opening up and they're opening up with, you know, restrictions, but you can still go. So I feel for some of you, maybe you tested positive at one point and now you're, you know, you're waiting for um, some type of go ahead so you can travel or maybe you were waiting for a destination to open up so that you could travel. For a few of you, I feel like you're getting on some type of vacation. This could be a road trip. You could be going to a different city or a different state. Um, the sun card in the background with this vacation, though, is showing for a lot of you that this should be a really good trip for you. It should be something that's pleasant or something that makes you happy. I feel like there's this need to get away. Even if you're fantasizing about taking a trip, I feel like some of you are really going to make this happen. It's like, I want to open this up. I want to be able to travel. I want to go somewhere. And it looks like there's a positive message that it is coming. The light is illuminating your path, which means that you're coming in up. Oh, here's the light, you guys. Oh, this damn flip thing is driving me crazy. The light is illuminating your path, which means that if you felt a little cloudy, you didn't have any clarity on a vacation, maybe you didn't know exactly what was going to happen, it's showing that now you're feeling more comfortable with moving forward with this. So if you've been putting off a trip for a while, it looks like that you're going to go ahead and take it and move forward, and it looks like it's going to be a good trip for you guys. So my lovelies, that is your spirit messages for this week. I hope you guys are doing well. Please stay safe. Mwah. Love you.